Ladies and gentlemen, the Buffalo Sabres have finally hired their next head coach, and that man is Don Granado. Granado will be the 20th head coach in Sabres franchise history, and he actually took over on interim basis on March 17th. He replaced the awful Ralph Kruger and took over the Sabres when they were dead last in the NHL. At this point, the Sabres had lost 12 straight games, and there would be six more before the Sabres notched a win under Granado. Before their first win, the team was 0-5-1. Afterwards, they went 9-11-2. So, how did the Sabres suddenly become mediocre with an AHL-level squad? Well, it was because of Granado's new system. He wanted his much younger and inexperienced team to play a loose, high-pressing, and expansive kind of game. He encouraged his defensemen to actually skate the puck into the offensive zone instead of what Kruger clamped down into their minds of the dump and chase. And he wanted his team to be speedy and fast. Granado's new system saw young players like Casey Middlestad, Tage Thompson, Anders Bjork, Rasmus Dahlin, Sam Reinhardt, and Dylan Cousins thrive. Granado gave his young players more minutes and bigger opportunities in bigger situations, and he moved away from playing guys like Cody Eakin and Tobias Reeder, both of whom are bums, by the way. All of this saw the Sabres improve from Ralph Kruger's perverted image of a team. Don Granado is the sixth head coach the Sabres have hired since 2012, which is nine years ago, and no coach has lasted any longer than two seasons since. The most recent coach to go from interim to a permanent basis for the Sabres was Ron Rolston, who replaced Lindy Ruff back in 2013. He lasted a couple months on the permanent gig, but was quickly fired after the Sabres started the season 4-15. and Yikes. Personally, I never expected anybody other than Granado to be the next head coach. Yeah, fans heard other names pop up like Rick Tockett, Bruce Boudreaux, and others, but Granado was always the favorite to get the gig. The young players really liked Don Granado's new system and style of coaching. The practices were more engaging, and he was a positive leader, despite the team being basement dwellers. (laughs) 